last week I had a podcast where we went through the 10 most irritating things of 2024. It was kind of popular. So let's do that again only. Let's change it to the 10 coolest things about 2024. Let's do some positive things here. And I haven't even wrote any down, haven't even thought of any yet. So let's try to do this off the top of my head. 2024, let's see, number 10. Electronics are cool. Yeah, I like my new cameras, man. I mean, they get better and better. I guess cell phones get better if you can count that. Uh, everything is Bluetooth. That's kind of cool. Uh, I can type in an address here on the computer or where I need to go. I had to do this last week a few times. I had to go to some appointments. So I get on Google Maps. I type it in. I got a little gizmo in my truck. I turn it on. It gets to the the GPS thing, and it already knows. It's in the list. I just click it. I hit go. Hey, man, you know, 20 years ago, you just get lost. Sometimes you end up in the hood. I, when I get lost, I'm always in the hood. Never fails. Never fails. And, you know, they don't have an entrance to a freeway through the hood. They never do. <sighs> Number nine. What could that be? I don't know. Uh, hey, I'm doing this on the fly. This is going to be some hard thinking. What could be number one? I got nine more to go. <sighs> coffee. No, coffee, coffee hasn't changed. There's just more of it. More choices. Well, I guess we'll turn that into number nine. There's more choices of coffee. Right now, I'm drinking some Taster's Choice. Instant. Yes, I prefer instant. It's not because I'm lazy. It's because I would make a pot of coffee, drink one or two cups, and the rest of it would go to waste. And I like the taste of instant coffee. I drink it in the military. I got used to it. It's real coffee. It's just instant. I put the water in the microwave, heat it up for two and a half minutes with this cup. With the big cup, it's three minutes. And then I mix it in there. I do not like Taster's Choice. It sucks. I don't have a big choice of that here in my local grocery store. So I, I need, and I looked in all these the other day. They don't have a big choice. But I like a dark roast. And this Taster's Choice, I, at least this particular bottle of it I got, or can, but it's a bottle actually. It's a light roast. So you got to put a ton of it in there. And somebody had sent me some from Starbucks. Oh, was that good? But man, that stuff's like 15 bucks for a little thing. But it did last a while. But I'll just settle with whatever. Usually I drink the... Uh, I can't even remember what I drink now. Whatever's on sale, I guess. I don't know. Alright, where were we? We're going to number eight. No more cable TV. Now, when I moved here 10 years ago, I had no television. I had no internet. All I had was a radio. And now that I have internet, you know, they're, they're, I, I'm going to say Starlink, man. Starlink is cool. It has changed how I do things here. Now I can get on my Roku's or whatever I got. They're not all Roku's. They're different ones. But I've got a wide variety of things to watch. Uh, Prime, all that. Prime, I don't... Prime sucks now because they got commercials on everything. But mostly YouTube. I can go sit in my living room, put on YouTube, uninterrupted. I was able to do that with Hotspot just before I got Starlink, but it was sporadic. It would spin and, you know, it was not good. So that's another cool thing about... 2024 and well we've had it for a couple of years now but it is expensive and we're supposedly getting fiber here soon not soon enough because I'm paying like $145 a month for Starlink but to me 
you know, if you lived in a city and had to pay for cable and internet, you're still going to be paying that. So to me, it's, you know, it's nice. I can get high speed internet and, and run a YouTube channel and have no issues whatsoever. Number seven. Guys, I gotta be honest. I'm having a hard, hard time coming up with something good. Because life ain't like it was. You know, yes, we've got advances in electronics that make our lives easier, more entertaining. But at what price? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this list because it's just hard hard to come up with things. I don't live in a city, so I there's a lot of things you guys might see. I don't even know what an I've never heard of an Uber until like a year ago. I guess they don't have taxis anymore. You just call some dude and he comes from his house and picks you up. I ain't never heard of such a thing. We don't have Uber here. We got Goober. And he's always sleeping. So, there's a lot of things you can probably come up with that I can't. Because, honestly, my life, other than the internet, uh, it's the same as when I moved here 10 years ago in this house. Other than, you know, getting internet, everything else is the same. Well, I have more outlets now because I got electricity. Um, that's, that's one cool thing is you, you know, you can get on and if you need to learn how to wire something there, you get on there and do that. Oh, that's all I got, man. I can't come up with any more. Speaking of wiring, y'all finish it from number seven down. Y'all finish it. Cause ain't really nothing. I notice yesterday. I went to replace the ceiling fan in the pantry, which used to be my old red office, you know. Well, it just quit working. Turn the switch on, nothing. Turn the switch on, nothing. It wasn't the breaker. I put the tester on the switch, and I had power there. So I replaced the whole ceiling fan. I bought one like I got here in the kitchen, in the dining room area. Pretty cool. Hooked it all up, buttoned it up. Went to flip switch, nothing. Took it back down. I'm testing everything. I test the switch. I've got power to the switch. I know I got power to the switch. But I got power to the light. But it ain't coming on. Uh, after about an hour of that, I found out the switch had broken. Cheap Chinese made switch. Uh, yeah, it was this one here. It wasn't this broken. I broke that off. But it had broken enough to where it slipped away from the contacts. So I go to put on another switch. Not this type, but the square one. And it wouldn't work. Then I remembered I tried it here when I installed these lights. And it was bad. It never did work from brand new. I put it back on the shelf back there. And forgot about it. And I'll be darned if I didn't grab that again. And so at that point, my brain was really racking. So I don't know how many times I turned the power back on and off and man, so I just, I didn't finish it. I mean, my back was hurting so bad by the, you know, and then I went to go put an e-bike together. Yeah, got another one. It may provide you with these cheap tools. 20 feet away is my truck under the carport with a nice tool set, but no, I didn't get that. I struggled with these stupid things. So I finally had to put the headlight on and needed my tools. So I went and got an extension socket, good wrenches, good Allen wrenches, got her together, rode her around the yard a few times, put her away. But sometimes we overthink things uh, or get lazy, like trying to use these tools when I got good tools. You know, those things, I put so many of them together, I don't need to read the instructions, I just do it. I mean, they're not hard. And, but man, the electrical, ah. Uh, because I knew I wired it right. I knew everything was wired right. And it was getting power, but I just never would have thought the switch broke. Because this switch is only two years old. So I don't really know what happened other than I may have over-tightened it when I was putting it in. And it was probably just barely hanging there. But 
I do know I didn't pay more than two or three dollars for it, so it's a cheap one. So I got to run this morning and get an another, you know, I'm going to dig through the shed first. I know there's more switches out there. I actually seen them last week. See if I can find another switch and put the fan back up because the fan's not up right now. But before I do that, I'm going to get a basic cheap light bulb light fixture that I took out of the something. Hook that up there. Make sure that the switch is working. Then I'll go ahead and put the fan up because it ain't fun putting them things up hanging up there and you got to twist this, twist that. So, all right, guys, if you want to finish the good things about 2024, let's go for it because my brain's rack. I can't come up with nothing, nothing. But I guess it's good to be alive, right? Happy trails.